only 10 days ago, the Unified Heavyweight Championship of the World changed hands. All four titles and the lineal title were in the UK. Now, three of the four titles are in Ukraine. And Deontay Wilder has the opportunity this Saturday night to reclaim his WBC title. And for the entire UK to have no titles. But will it happen? Can Deontay Wilder beat a guy who in my eyes beat him twice? Clearly. I had the first fight 115-111 for Fury. 9 rounds to 3. And I have the second fight. I thought Deontay Wilder did... Uh, watching it live, I thought Deontay Wilder run round 2. But Destin Fury battered him from pillar to post. Completely, completely battered him. And it was a very one-sided fight. But many people are forgetting one thing. What made that fight extremely one-sided is not Tyson Fury was landing jabs and, and headshots and doing all that stuff. No, he landed a right hand to the equilibrium that took away Deontay Wilder's balance. Just like Andrew Ruiz Jr. landed a left hand to Joshua's temple that took away his balance throughout the fight. Deontay Wilder, you can go rewatch that fight, was clearly he had just lost his footing, had no balance whatsoever, and was dominated. A second factor to that, no fighter, I don't want to get too religious on you guys over here, no fighter wins when he's, when he's going into competition with God. Deontay Wilder said, not even God can save Tyson Fury. Just like Charles Martin said, I walk this earth like a god. And you saw how both of them were completely embarrassed. I don't know. I don't I don't know why some American fighters go to the extent that they believe they are higher than God. Because believe me, no one's higher than God. No one. Yet I have never seen a fighter challenge God and win. So that's the second part. The third part is. Deontay Wilder's entire hopes of reclaiming the title, no matter how much he improves, I can't see him improving to the point where he's better than a game Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder's entire hope is, is to hope that the virus that Tyson Fury contracted that delayed the fight from July 24 till October 9 is still has lingering effects on Tyson Fury, just like how it did in the rematch for, uh, for Alexander Povetkin. Two, he better hope Tyson Fury is out of shape. More closer to 300 pounds than 270. Three, he better hope Tyson Fury is not focused. But I don't think Tyson Fury is not focused on Wilder anymore. Because Tyson Fury, you could have said he was focused on Anthony Joshua. But after Anthony Joshua lost in pretty one-sided fashion against this much smaller Alexander Usyk. I think Tyson Fury understands that the most dangerous fighter right now to him. Is Deontay Wilder. I know I'm going to have a different answer if Tyson Fury were to fight Tony Yoka. But right now Tyson Fury is... We're just focused on the top 5, top 10 fighters. The most dangerous fighter in his path is Deontay Wilder. I did think Anthony Joshua could beat Tyson uh, Tyson Fury. Because I assumed Anthony Joshua... Could go back to his former self. And when he wants to attack, he could attack. He clearly had no intention of attacking against Alexander Usyk. And was more than happy just sit there and get outboxed. I think the same fate would happen if he were to fight Tyson Fury. Prior to the Usyk loss, I had Joshua beating Tyson Fury. Not anymore. I know styles make fights. But Fury has a lot of the same weapons that Usyk has. So if Fury is in shape, if the virus has no lingering effects, if Fury is focused and motivated, does Deontay Wilder have a chance? I don't think so. Of course he has a puncher's chance. But look, I, my entire feeling going into this fight is a first-round KO for Deontay Wilder. I don't know why. This is my gut feeling. But I don't like to give predictions from my gut. I like to give predictions from my brain. And I think Tyson Fury is going to stop Deontay Wilder quicker this time around. 
This you could see a stoppage anywhere between rounds three and five. I don't expect it to be a competitive fight. Cause the more I look at it, I just don't see a like my heart says Wilder, but my brain says Fury. And my brain doesn't give Wilder a chance. Cause we've seen Fury outbox Wilder fairly easily in the first fight. And that was a very, very out of shape. Rusty Tyson Fury. Very. And I thought he won the first seven rounds. Even the three rounds that Wilder did win, in my book, were in the last five rounds. So it was more he started to guess. That was a completely, completely one-sided performance from Fury. Part of the two knockdowns. And the second fight was even more one-sided. The second fight, I don't know why Wilder won in the third fight. I don't know why. Why didn't he go another route? Why didn't he fight Trevor Bryan for a claim of the WBA title? Why didn't he fight Charles Martin? Why didn't he fight Andy Ruiz? Just look for money-making fights. What's the point of getting in there and getting your career ended by Tyson Fury? Because if you get stopped again by Tyson Fury, I don't see Wilder going on. Because his market value is going to go down tremendously. Same for Usyk. I don't know why Usyk... I mean, same for Joshua. I don't know why Joshua was running to fight Usyk again. Do you, do these guys not know what's going on? Like, if Wilder loses again to Fury, he'd only have... Well, his his last five fights would be 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. And if Joshua loses to Usyk, his last fight, his last five fights would be 2-3. and three. That, That's horrible. I don't see how they can come back from that. They're go. They're going to go down to a deep end where they're going to be on the pool off to sore level if they continue losing these fights. And guys like Tony Oka, Joe Joyce, Hergovic are all going to be ranked higher than both Wilder and Joshua. Wilder and Joshua will be fed by their promoters to the up, up and coming, up and comers. You know what I mean? Like Wilder is going to be a te- a testing stick if he wants to continue on. I, I see him retiring because I don't. And I don't see Wilder being Usyk. If anyone thinks Wilder can be Usyk, please, please, please go watch Arthur Spilka versus Deontay Wilder. Hey, man, the other day I was watching a video for him. He says Arthur Spilka is not a porn man's version of Usyk. Arthur Spilka is a homeless man's version of Usyk. And you saw how he was outboxing Wilder for stretches of that fight. And I, like other people, had Arthur Spilka up five rounds to three prior to the knockout. First of all, I think Usyk just stops Wilder easily. In my opinion. That left hand will continue to find Wilder. Wilder will not find a target. Wilder needs a steady target. Usyk, as he showed in the Joshua fight, can easily move for 12 rounds. I, I, don't, I only see the fight going one way. I think the only man in the top five that could beat Usyk is Tyson Fury. And the only guy I fought in the top five that could beat Tyson Fury was Joshua, but not anymore. I think Tyson Fury has set himself far from the pack. Him and, it's him and Usyk, that's it. Not too long ago, we were reviewing four guys. I see just him and Usyk left. And the winner of that fight could reign supreme over the heavyweight division. I don't expect anyone to reign supreme. Because as I said, guys like Hergovic... And Tony Yoka, you guys need to watch out for those two. Especially, especially Tony Yoka. I know Tony Yoka might have a chin problem. But if you don't catch him clean. And her, stick, he hasn't been dropped yet in the pros. I'm, this, I'm dating back to the amateurs from this. And we've seen Joe Joyce take some monster bombs in the pros. Even though he was stopped by a guy like... Uh, not stopped, knocked out completely by Sergey Kuzman. And I don't think anyone would be choosing Sergey Kuzman... Over Joe Joyce, especially since Sergey Kuzman has suffered two one sided defeats so far against Martin Bucoli and against Michael Hunter. So let me know in the comments below do any of you give De- Deontay Wilder a hope in this fight? Of course, he has that monster right hand, but we've seen him land enough with that right hand and nothing happened. I'm telling you right now, my gut feeling. Is Wilder KO in the first round? I know this sounds crazy. I'm like, how could you say all that and say your gut feeling is Wilder KO? That's what my gut is telling me. And guess what? You know what? This time I'm going to go after my gut. Even though I said all that about Tyson Fury, I got Wilder winning by early stoppage. Maybe not in the first round, but in the first three rounds.
And if any of you guys are betters, Wilder to win in the first round, just go and get 50 to 1. That's crazy, considering Wilder has like, what, 30 first round knockouts? I think he had two as a champion, which is just incredible. This guy's an incredible, incredible power puncher. It's sad to see him go out like this. Because especially if he loses against the Fury, I don't see him fighting on. Which is sad. I want to see him fight Dylan White. I want to see him fight Andrew Ruiz. But I don't think we're going to get that. But just as a champion, he knocked out Bramir Stavrin in emphatic fashion in the first round. He knocked out Dominic Brazil, a guy who went 12 rounds with Otto Valin, went 7 rounds with Anthony Joshua. He absolutely destroyed him in a minute. That, that fight was crazy. So, who did he not get another knock on the first round as a champion? Another came, comes to mind, but he did knock out his trainer, Malik Scott, in the final eliminator. So, he's had first round knockouts at the world level. He will be missed. And if any of you guys are better, as I was saying, first round knockout for Nathan Wilder is going to get 50 to 1. Let me know what you guys in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And Sadiq Boxing, out.